the humans uh, so is valid. So I just finished saying that the Muhammad of the Ivanim was on the Likus Shibataira. So level one, it meant the Likus meaning that it's Debish's Chaik and Ratzin. It's higher than rationale, higher than 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 the, than the world and creation. So level one was so the Hal Mechama was only on the Chukim, but to keep Edus and Mishpatim, which are root, which are rational, they were masking. The second Pidush, he said, the deeper Pidush is that it refers to all mitzvahs, as he's going to explain, because all mitzvahs that should be observed, even the Edus and the Mishpatim, the foundation is not Seichel. So they wanted to uproot that foundation that ought to be present even as we are motivated and observe Eidus and Mishpatim. And in the Ha'ara 34, he added, and likewise the Melchama was not Stam on Chokim. If you keep Chokim because you believe this, that the, the ultimately there's a reason for it. That's the cause. That's the foundation. Is the reason. You don't know the reason, but there is a reason. You trust, you trust the creator, there's a reason. So they're masking, fine, go ahead, keep the chokim too. Keep paraduma, keep shatnas. As long as your motivation is that there's a, an explanation. You don't know it, you don't know it. Rather than the emes, that the core and essence of all mitzvahs, is, it goes on to explain that when it's downloaded, is completely beyond rationale. As we'd expect it to be. It comes from the Ebishti himself. As we said yesterday, really the core issue here is really who is God? Who is God? So based on this order, although this the Maimi doesn't express it in these words, it comes out like this: that certainly not, not only for the Greeks is God divine intelligence. The creator is this intelligent being. And therefore, if you don't understand the reason, he has his reasons, period. But even beyond that, Seichel is Mechaev, an intelligent being, if that's all God was, then that's ultimately finite. And it has to be, it has to come from an endless, infinite source. Because intelligence means subject to change. Subject to change. Intelligence means it's affected by other things, measured by other things, produces other things, and it's changed by other things. This shinoi inherent in the notion of seichel. So seichel, therefore intelligence, will conclude that there's even a deeper level of God, this infinite level. So they even mask him on a God that serve of Kalauni. And that's that, that, that is an infinite source from which produces the divine intelligence. It's pretty high, pretty deep. <laughs> it's absolute apicurusis at the end because Devishter, Havai Holy Kim, Bligvul and Gvold, for him are all equal, and Atmos is utterly beyond even the notion of infinite. If I, if I want to be a bit cutesy, and I'm saying this deliberately, this is cutesy. And no offense intended. Maybe this shouldn't be recorded. But the way we're explaining it now, it's it's already it's it, it's one step beyond the classic misnagid who hasn't looked at this. We're not blaming him. He didn't look at this. That's your conclusion. Because in that world, it's all seichel, divine seichel. Every reason is ultimate. God has his reasons. You don't know. So that's divine intelligence. That's where it ends. The Greeks and Maskim, there's a slave of Kalami. There's a believable behind. It has to be the source of, of the divine intelligent creator. Where's the Kvira? Where's the Mulcham and Atmos? That's already a step beyond. Where and the Torah world would be without Chassidus.
from Judy with that chassidus. So you got asked the question. So what was? So this is all hindsight. This is all. Uh, this is chassidus is thousands of years later, and we're. And the answer is all of these things existed intuitively. It wasn't articulated in Seichel. It was the emes, the pure emes of it all. Okay. The mind doesn't quite lay it bare as we, you know, malus save even atmos, but speaks bechalolus and makes us appreciate, or maybe more pratis, more detail, makes us appreciate the divinity, the emes of the kus of Torah. And that is, Let's begin. Oiz Gimu. Oiz Dalit. Yuvans al Pia Yadua. What's fascinating also that oh, this whole beer, that of the Melchom of the Yavanim, I'm just ignorant here, but the sources here are all the Fidi Gerebim. It's, it's spoken about earlier. He started off. Beer in the race gimel, the maker is there. The feed he says, but bedrush echak modav chom yadmor, and likewise up here you do it. I mean, it's, it's no question that if you give us my body, this Indian is is a big emphasis, but it's 35 doesn't even bring one mocker outside the feed they get up as my mother. Maybe it's just not articulated quite in that same way that there would be a study to look into. I call upon him. As you said yesterday, we're fighting communism was this kind of milham. Shigama mitz was the edus and mishpatim, so it's that that which is known that even edus and mishpatim. Because that was the pirush abeis. This is a hemshech of the second pirush. The second pirush was. That when they when they want it, la virum chukim it's enough. It's not just chukim, but it's even edus mishpatim. But what the chayk and the rotsin that's in edus mishpatim, that is being masbina. now. That even edus mishpatim tzarech lakain beikim teishim rotsin. We started this okay, so we have to do so beikir, and we address the word ikir. Why understand it all? Just do because God says, if that's its premius, it's beyond seichel, what's all the seichel? So let the mind actually addresses it a little bit. So we have to do the mitzvahs because the, the rats in Hashem can buy a chukim just like chukim. Being in there, we're not just saying this because that should be your attitude. In other words, it's not just even if there's no reason, there is. But if this would be a chayk, I'm still, I'm still doing it. It's not only that. We're not just expressing the attitude of the person. That the person should fulfill the mitzvah of Eidos and Mishpatim with the same attitude that he fulfills the chayk, which would mean that even if there wouldn't be a reason, I do it with the same enthusiasm. No. Continuing the note, it's not only that's part of it that the person should do a mitzvah found fundamentally as an evad, and evad means complete surrender. What does it mean as an evad? He does mitzvahs, he does so not because he appreciates, because that's the, the, the will of the master. So, not only do we have to approach Eidos. And mishpatim, like an eved, because it's the rats and the odd, and it's not just mitzad of this adam. Eloi said that's the truth. It's at the mitzvah. And again, it's at the mitzvahs. The mitzvahs themselves be emes are higher than seich. It's not just our attitude. Follow? Yes. Because he called her mitzvahs, all the mitzvahs, gamma mitzvahs, even the mitzvahs that have reasons. Beyond reason. So already in her order 38, obviously. So why do mitzvahs have reasons then? And what are they? The rak is not the only way to address it. Let's see what the Maimus is. This itself is part of the Abishta's Gzeda. We need to say there's no reason that Mitzvah should have reasons. The Abishta's Gzeda. 
Sharots and the mitzvahs, Eilu established Gamba Tam, that certain mitzvahs should be enclosed in Tam. Order 39. Let's read it. Even after the mitzvah has been invested in, ta, in, a, in a reason, again, in, like a lavush, like a garment. Like a garment, it's, it's fundamentally extraneous to the body in which the, the body is invested. The reason, that's not, it's a lavush. It's the packaging. Even afterwards, nishar hu that's a mind if you ever. The mitzvah doesn't become compromised, but remains in its pshitas. Now, this just appreciate this vodit. What's he saying here? Hishtalsh just doesn't work this way. The whole point of Hishtalsh is when the higher darge and there's a tzimtzum and it's the slabish and the lower darge, so there's a fundamental change. Even though Bemis Exodus probes Ishtalshulis and points out that the Oid the, Bemis, the, there's no change. But that's already much more subtle. The whole point of Ishtalshulis is that there should be change, at least overtly. Overtly, but mitzvahs not, mitzvahs notwithstanding, having traveled through Ishtalshulis and getting Kabbalah reasons in Atzilis, getting Drush reasons in Elam Abriya more pa elaborate packaging, getting Remes reasons in Elam Ha'itzira, and getting a Pshat explanation in Elam Ha'asiya, it remains uncompromisingly Dratz and Hashem. It's not like the classic Tzimtzum, where there's a real change in the Hamshach. And the Shama is even a bigger Chiddush. The Shama the sense of the Elamus and retains its Chelek and the Kam Yamal Mamash it's as a connection, but it's a similar idea. Bechlovis, Torah is like water. Al Tabe says in Tanya, the water the sands is the same water. It's a mighty waterfall, or or, or a trickle. But it's the same water. Mosei, it's the same water. He was talking about it coming in Levushim, but despite it coming in Levushim, it's the same. It's the same diamond, no matter what the packaging. Let's go further in the union of timing. Excuse me a second. We have to appreciate what the Seichel should appreciate. What's a time? What's a reason in a mitzvah? Shagam time I meet the commission in the so the true time, the highest lavush, the true lavush, heim lemaynim avon of the sechel and lushi. That's beyond human grasp. The meet is time I meet this, or commission chachmosa is barech. Where does time begin? Chachmosa is barech, chacham datzilis, or even higher than that. Chacham datzilis is blikvu. We given, and that's that's the true time, that's where it starts. That's the origin of Thomas Chachma Datsilis. That's the primis dike and first address. That and everything else is just a play on that and a play on that. Tzimtzum, tzimtzum on the Chachma Datsilis. And, 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 and uh, externally, radically, relatively speaking, radically compromising the time. And so much so at the end of the day, we have a, a, a human reason for things. But this human reason, human reason is a poor reflection and a, a radical a compromise of the first and ultimate reason in Chachma Datsilas. So even the reasons that we have, that's 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 reason. Chachma Datsilas, that's now there's only Moshe Rabbein. That's why Moshe Rabbein only understood all the time by mitzvahs, because he was Chachma Datsilas. This is a rarefied level of understanding that it's beyond Seichel and Nushi, the human grasp. So again, that meet this time and meet this is the way commission. But Chachmosa is Baruch. We give and Shagam Chachmosa is Baruch ain't so. The Ebrish is Chacham is infinite. The Befrat Shahu is Baruch with Chachmosa Yachad. Okay, this is a whole sugya. This is the Alter Rebbe Sa'ar in Perak Beis in Tanya from the Rambam that he and his Chachma are one. So there's two in Yonim here. 
Sugi Shleimer. But just to make it simple, what's the Befrat? The first point is that the Chachma is Blikvul. Chachma Blikvul. The second point is to whom Chachma say Achod, his, his Blikvulness, which is not Blikvul Chachma, but true Pshitus, Blikvul period, is in, is in, is one with that Chachma. So that's Blikvul within Blikvul. It's infinite wisdom. Doesn't mean, infinite wisdom does not mean a lot of knowledge. It means every part of the knowledge is, is, is bleakful. Look, we follow suddenly in commerce, in, in quality, not in quantity. That he is united with his chachma, bringing his bleakfulness, which is not just bleakful chachma, but objectively bleakful period, into the chachma. So it's two levels of bleakful. Again, it's a whole sugya to understand this Rambam, understand the Alter Rebbe's Ha'ara. And the other Mukabalim, where they differ and how they differ. The Ramak, the Maral. At any rate, if anybody wants to look into it, they, they do a nice job in the Hechel uh, Tanya, in the back. And the artists in the back. It's that nice summary of all the 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 shittis and the and the 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 Rambam and therefore the the conclusion of Chassidus. At any rate, what are we saying here? That even the reason the MS, the the reason itself is bleakful. So he continues that in Shaykh Shasechel Mugbul Dan Ivroim Yuchul Hasig Amitis Satam Dan Mitzvahs. It's not Shaykh that the limited intelligence of creation, meaning to say, Nevesh Shabahamis, Nevesh Ativis, who we are, the Shamis in bodies, and then and can grasp and understand the true reason of the mitzvah as it is in Chachmat Tatzilis. Kamisha Kosi Begeres Hakelish, like he writes in Tanya, Shet Time Mea Mitzvahs, Loyin is Gal. That the true, it means the true reasons of the mitzvah, that's Chachm Datzilus, are not revealed to us. And they're beyond grasp. And he goes on to say this, quoting from Tanya, What do you mean they're not, the reasons aren't revealed? Here, yeah, we have the reason. There are many places where it's revealed and in the Spanish articulated. A reason that's understood for us, Lachayre, says the Alter Rebbe, it's, it's still part of the quote in Tanya, in Itam Zeh, I'm moving along, there ain't a Tachlis at all. That's not the Tachlis. That's the Achrei, many Tzimtzumim, and the real top, the Chachm, that still is beyond grasp. Now, the Indian Zeh, end of Tanya, end of quote. Now, the Rebbe continues. The Indian Zeh, Shatam, I'm moving along, there ain't Tachlis at all. So this, that the reasons that we have, that's not the ultimate, that's not the whole story. Moving Gamba Seichel and Nushi. Our Seichel can understand and appreciate its own limits and that the, the that which we understand, that's not the Tachlis. Why? Shariqam, even Seichel can appreciate its own limitations. Shari, and now, and, and, our limitations in understanding what a mitzvah is. Human intelligence understands. Human intelligence can't understand infinite, infinite chachma. So we, the seichel itself appreciates its own limitations. The other rabbi, on the contrary, the fact that there's any in any place where there's revealed a reason that we can understand to a pelagod, like we shouldn't be understanding. It's simple language. We, Seichel understands not to understand. Seichel expects not to understand God. But cool. And what we do understand in some way that it's a pella. What a chesed Hashem. It's Hashem's chesed. He doesn't give the answer we gave yesterday about the tzavah. It's a bit, a bit different here, but let's appreciate this. It's so why are there reasons altogether in some form or another? For a chesed Hashem, it's Hashem's kind, Shagam Seichel Adam, Yila Eza Sagabaza. That human intelligence should have some relationship, some grasp to it. I'm gonna add here, 
which we said yesterday, and again, based on other, my modem, you could read this, it's chesed Hashem, like God's throwing us a bone, doing us a favor. That means we shouldn't understand anything because it's beyond Seich. And in a few places we do, so it's God's kindness. All right, you know, you're a human being, you like to understand. So here's a little, here's a little bit of understanding. A little, by the way, entire libraries. But that's, that's that's right? So you could think that's the pshat here, but it's not chas v'shalom pshat. When he says chesed Hashem, it means it's because of God's desire for a relationship with us. And do we, that, that our minds be part of the relationship. Therefore, he presents to in a way that we can have understanding. I guess like in a marriage, your spouse wants your allegiance, for sure. That's the foundation. But if that's it, that's it. Or, or you just give, you're an avid. This, is, this would engender an avid relationship. But it has to be a child relationship. Then there's a husband relationship. And that's a relationship of engagement, not just surrender. So by understanding, that's engagement. That's part of the, the foundation. It's like a Kabbalah soil. But that can't stop there. Because you're not, it's not a relationship. It's not filling you. It's not engaging you. You're taking your seichel and you're putting it aside. But I want to, I want to be part of your seichel too and your heart. So you got to feel it. You, want, you have to understand. That's what he means by chaz de Hashem. It's not just doing us a favor. It means his love for us is, is av. Okay, but M is the mind is not stressing this. The stress of the mind is that we should appreciate the limitations of seichel, and what a mitzvah what Taylor is. Then after all the okay, yeah, let's all go further. Now a further limitation to our understanding. And that is that even after a reason is given, these are Taylor reasons. How do you do what's known? This is from Made in the Vukim. All the reasons that we have just explain the mitzvah in general. But the, the thousands of, we don't hear the thousands of pratim. And if the prat doesn't, ch it, it will change, the message is still there. The time doesn't explain the insistence on the details. And if a detail isn't there, it's possible you're not yaitzah. You don't get the message. First, the, the time of the mezuzah. What's the mezuzah? Wrote down in the Rambam to remember Yichod Hashem when you go into the house. Out of that constant reminder. No, if there's going to be a hair line crack, it doesn't it's not going to remind you. It still reminds. So the timing did not explain the protein, the minutia of the protein. So he's saying that even we can see we're confronted with. And another example, he says protein. There are cases, detailed cases, where it's beyond seichel. Like I've illustrated this. Let's take the most logical of all mitzvahs, the most logical of all commandments, without which a society cannot function. The days that shall not kill. So what, right? So nothing more logical than that. Every society has that to some degree. So here's a case where it's the ma'alim and seichel scenario. For those who didn't hear it, just to illustrate. Imagine the following scene. So there's a young mother in a room. Mother, she is the, the paradigm, the paradigm, no, of, of virtue and innocence. A young Siddish, beautiful mother with eight children, prime of her life. Sitting in the same room is a can. Why can I speak today? No, uh, that's the word. Can tanker, <laughs> old man who everybody hates who's sick and wants to die. He's a landlord in town, and he's, he's made people's life a misery all his life. And he has, he's not on the verge of death, but he's, he's, he's very sick. He has no children. Everybody wishes that he dies. They all hate him, and he wants to die. He's had yeah. enough of life. And if someone comes into the room, a third person with a gun, and puts the gun in her hand, and says, and no Hollywood ending here, you kill him, or I kill you. Someone's going to die. And he's screaming in the cart, kill me. She can't. She has to die. So it's a, it's, a, it's a case that never happened. It's a prat. 
it's a better case where they said it's yeah, forced to confront. This is not safe. Uh, it make, and like Signal can find other cases as well where everyone say take the apple. Play Signal. Okay, there Koch Nefa should take the apple. But here's one of the, the Gimel mitzvahs. They can't be over. Everybody's masking. All the parties are masking. No. That's also part of the Protim. Uh, the reasons only Bachlolas. When you get down to the nitty gritty, you're going to have to confront in some scenario that says it's exactly my limit. It's divine beyond understanding. Continuing the eyes. She calls him woven, so all of the Babbits understood. She got a mitzvah, the Edos and Mishpatim. So even the Edos and Mishpatim, which overtly are logical, him kemay chukim lagabenu. Relative to us, like chukim, even their reasons are like chukim, we're saying. Even their reasons. The given she got time by mitzvah, the reasons she mitzvah chachmosa is barachim lamayim sechal ivroya. Even as they are. Mishpatim and Eidos, which means by definition they come with logic and reason. That logic is itself is higher than the Naseich. We say the Mizor, moreover, that's the Seicho component, the Chachmosa Yisbarech. The primis of that, the Shoyrish is the Ratzin. Shem Ritzoyin, so let's say in the Achar Ritzoyin, Yisbarech Shalmai, the Gamba Chachmosa Yisbarech. And for sure, the primis of the Eidos Mishpatim is beyond Seicho. That's pure rotsen. <laughs> they wished as well, again, to put this into sharp relief. It was beyond reason? Is there a reason for God's existence? No. His rotsen is like him. It is his rotsen. So concluding, and so that's explaining the Pirish base that we said at the end of Ois Gimel, that when they wanted to make it and transgress chukar it's an echel. It didn't just mean the chukim, but the gamba mitzvah, they just mishpat him, even they just mishpat him. Let's see out of 43. I'll be saying, you've a mashal mover, but you're a mashal my understand in light of the above, that which has brought down the mind of the Vidika Rebbe of Toshin Aleph, and say, if I'm more in Yiddish, is it my modem that he that he wrote and said in, and were published in Yiddish, Dafka for the broader community? Shagama, was he right there? Shagama mitzvot edus and mishpatim sodech lekayim. You have to fulfill edus and mishpatim the fishay mitzvus havaya. Because they're God's mitzvus. What does he mean? Ki gam zen de gei la beard la vir mechuk tzachim befinim. Because that is also he's explaining there. That's the gzeira of the chachamim. Of the of the of the Yavonim on the Chukim is also including the Edus and Mishpatim. And therefore, what's the answer is to fulfill even those with the Kabbalah Sayyid because they're Ratzin Hashem. Concluding the Oiski Yavonim Bikshu Laka Chas V'Shalom Eishi Soil. The Yavonim sought to uproot God forbid from Idnes Ahergesh Alikish B'Mitzvus. This is a Hergesh. This is a sense, the godly sense of the Mitzvus. All mitzvahs is beyond human grasp. That's the chayk part. And what's the rotsen part? The chayk part is that even the seichel is higher than us. It's chachmos is borech. The rotsen necho part is or bikshu. That's the deeper level. Lack of chasmas shomus hergesh hamitzvah seib rotsen is borech even higher that. Not only Chachmasa is Baruch, which is beyond us, but Ratzin, which is certainly beyond us, which is in Atzmi. Let's do the next place. Very beautiful diak now. The Gemara, without, we understand the Loshan Agimara, it says like this in describing Hanukkah, my Hanukkah. The Gemara answers, These are the words. When Yevonim entered the Echol, they contaminated all the oil. In the Hechel. What is, the Mashmoy Salosh and who? The inference here is that their entry to begin with was for what agenda? Not two things. Nichnasu la Hechel, 
and they contaminated the Heichel, and they contaminated the Shemanim. No. The whole going into the Heichel is to contaminate the oil. It's an obvious deal, but I never saw it articulated. When they went in, in the Hishtablo, that they, they put effort in his answer and they strived mightily. It means they put a vest out of Koyach. That's what they were after, the oil. In order to, God forbid, vanquish Eden. And Heichel is not enough? No. Because Heichel, who be, okay, we need explanation. Heichel is been there. And Shemin is Chachma. Shalemayim, okay, we'll do this tomorrow. Shalemayim is Seichel to Bina. It's not enough Bina, but they want to contaminate the Kudus HaChachma, which we'll elaborate, explain, Bezashem, tomorrow.